Okay, so just heading to work. It's a Saturday morning. It's about 7.30 a.m. A little bit of a sleep in compared to the weekdays. Um, I'm just heading into Redfern, which is getting closer to the Sydney CBD. Um, I'm just helping a friend out today. It's actually not my job, it's nothing to do with me. I'm just helping a, a mate of mine um, meet a deadline on an install. So, yeah, just heading in. I think we're just going to be fitting off the outdoor unit, putting in some wall controllers, a vent, like a bar grill, and fitting, uh, finishing off some drains, I think. Parking in this, oh, yeah, it's just stolen my park. Yeah, parking around here is not easy. Alright, so just here to help fit off some grills and whatever. So I'm going to go in there, um, start doing stuff, and then Scott's actually going to pipe up the outdoor using some press fittings, which I'm interested to learn more about because I'm thinking about potentially investing in a crimp tool. So I'll film that and um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Let's do it. Yeah, there's the people who did all. Yeah, that oh, looks good, man. I need to put a control on the wall here. It's a bit of a tricky one though because it's like brick. Um, and this was roughed in to here. I don't know what the go is there. So basically just gonna put the thing there. I'm gonna have to drill on an angle, take the cable across. It's a bit weird, but we'll get it done.
All right, so I've got a question. You've been telling me I need to get one of these things and I want you to explain exactly what it is because I still don't fully understand. So, so what's this, the benefit of this? So you completely stop the refrigerant or nitro right here and not 
through your depressor. So at the moment, your depressor is pushing down on the Schroeder, yeah, winding it back. That is now not pushing down on that. So the only gas, theoretically, you are losing is just that little bit there. Yeah. That okay. is it. So what's the, so, why, why is that better than I have just like a little thing here with a little tap on it? Because you've still got the depressor pushing on. So as you're disconnecting this, it, even though your tap is closed, you've still got your winding oh, it out yeah, yeah. and you're still depressing until it's not depressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. if you're very much trying to figure out your 3,800 kPa for nitro tests, if you've got yeah, your depressor sense, going yeah. down, let's just say you, you, don't lose, lose, a bit. you lose 200 grand, eh, sorry, 200 kPa because you've quickly try, yeah. try to do that as fast as you can. But then you come back the next day in the morning, difference in ambient temperature. Well, that 200 looks like maybe yeah. 600. And then you're thinking you've got a gas leak when you don't. So um, you've done a heaps of commissioning. Is that what you were using every time? Yeah. So, so now, you didn't have one of those things that took the Schroeder out, did you? Um, I do when I'm doing vacs for big VRV stuff. But um, not for little stuff like this where... It's just a two head, three head thing. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. So, they've, lost, they've turned the power on, so... So now, we just got to open up these here. Open up them. So this is one where you got to... Because this is a Dakin VRV. VRV4, I think. Um, so is this one where you need to turn the power on at the isolator and then wait? 12 minutes yeah. or up to 12 minutes yeah okay and then after that we've got to put it through a test mode So you've been using the B-Press fittings or whatever they're called for a while, what's your experience? Like have you had any leaks? Me personally, no. Um, I've always just followed the step-by-step -step preparation for them. Yeah. Um, but I have seen other people that have had leaks on them. Yeah, okay. But who knows if it was prepared right, yeah. it's unknown. And in terms of like your experience, like you're not affiliated with any brand, just what is your favorite like splitty or duckless mini split, the Americans call it, but like just a split system, wall hung thing, like what, just what's your favorite I, brand? Just, I think the standard split, like wall hung split, I, I really like the Panasonic's, so I feel like they're really easy to work on on a service point of view. Yep. But um, I've noticed that they're like, their ductors definitely look like they have more room inside them, and they're the same size casing as like a Dakin. Yeah. And what's got the go with the high efficiency stuff? Like a ducted, you can get a normal and a high efficiency unit. And the high efficiency has just got a bigger condenser coil, right? A bigger condenser coil, um, and according to Panasonic as well, um, you actually like a 14 kilowatt can actually do 15 odd kilowatts. It's yeah. not just a standard. Yeah. 14 kilowatts is 14 kilowatts like the Dakin. Um, you can get a little bit more out of it. Like, like what you get on your heating cycle, you're getting more out of your heating cycle out of the heated compression. Yeah. But with your um, panners, they actually give that little bit more, like, yeah. build yeah. up a little bit more. So if they're tight. So when, I, um, when I'm pressure testing VRVs, I've got a bit of a rule now just because I've seriously been pulling my hair out on some installs where because of what you're talking about with the Schroeder so I got a little high pressure gauge that I've rigged up and I'll put it on one side yep. um, and just leave it shut now I'm going to be honest it probably wouldn't even fit on this unit because you've got but the day that's fun funnily enough the Panasonic seem to have way more room yeah but that then I pressure pressurize from that end and then like make sure it comes up there and then um like when i take it off i see what the pressure is but i only pressure test first thing in the morning when it's the coldest part of the day so when i come back i don't get like 
I don't come back and see the pressure's gone down and start panicking when it might just be a temperature thing. Yeah, so whenever what? I'm doing like commissioning, when I've done like big nursing homes and that, I used to try and get them to write the temperature like 3,800 kPa on this day and what the ambient temperature yeah. was. Because even in those like the start of summer, you could be getting like 28 degree days be still getting like 10 degree morning sort of thing so yeah there's a quite of a fluctuation 100 percent. that that changes it 100 yeah. percent. i had changes with way less temperature difference than that and if you're doing a nursing home that's massive that could drop yeah well you're looking at some of them had like 150 meter pipe runs like and then they would have like 15 heads on it yeah So what does that mean? When you turn the VRV on for the first time, all the controllers flash to that. So that is the telling you that no master is set when it's flashing. Yep. When that is set and on, it means the other system or another system is set to a master. At the moment, there's no master set, that's why it's flashing. So all you gotta do is push the uh, MO button once, and that is And now in. this is the master because it doesn't have the symbol. Yeah. And the other symbols, it'll still have that symbol, but it on won't solid. be flashing. Yeah. yeah, they'll be on solid. Now, if what you've originally set isn't what yeah, you're what wanting you want. to do, you push and hold the MO button. It starts and flashing again. It starts flashing again. So it's nice and easy. And the whole purpose why you'd want to do that is, um, to be honest, I don't know why you... like. Basically, it's just two, it's a two-pipe system, so you can't have one on calling and one on heating. So well, one of it's got to be the master. If you've got kids and all the rest of it around, that it's just like, well, you control everything from your main bedroom because yeah, okay. you're the parents of the house, you just leave it in the master bedroom and everywhere else. But if you don't have young kids or something that can be playing around with it, that's where yeah. um, you can have it really set to wherever your main, des your main unit that you're going to be turning on and off, that's where you'd have the master. Yeah, cool. All right, sweet. It's quiet, it's pumping, it's clean. How good. Why don't they all have auto? That's my one gripe with Dakin. That's sick. Oh, that pumps. Put your eyes in front of it. <laughs> no, it's good. Yeah, good. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Just driving home now. Got a forty-minute drive home. Um, like I said, I was just. Cruise, it was a cruisy day, um, just helping Scott out finish that job so we can get out of there and invoice. Uh, if you haven't already, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you like, um, and yeah, have a good weekend and I'll see you next week. See ya.